Today I'm going to show you how you can replace or re-record your audio in Captivate Video Demo. Okay, so here's the situation. I've just recorded a fantastic video demo. My screen was set up perfectly. The application was set up perfectly. I managed to get all the steps correct and I really don't want to re-record it again, but unfortunately I recorded with the wrong microphone or perhaps in your situation you might have recorded with improper recording levels. It's too loud, it's too quiet, whatever the reason might be, you wish to replace the audio of your video demo file. Now at first glance most people might look at this and think, well I don't see where I can do that. You can see however that there is audio associated with your video audio track on your video demo timeline. If you click the track on your timeline, you'll notice that in the properties inspector, there is now an audio item visible. It's called narration one and it includes a trash can icon next to it. You'll need to remove the audio first if you wish to replace it with something else. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're not going to use the original audio recording. I'm going to click yes. And now I have two choices available to me. I can add audio from my properties inspector over here, or I can actually use the microphone icon in the Captivate toolbar. I think some people forget that that's there sometimes. Let's go ahead and use the add audio button in the properties inspector. This is going to open up my narration audio window. And what I can do at this point is that I can either select a new audio file. If I have one that's already the appropriate length and the timing is correct, I can select it from my library or I could import it from somewhere else on my computer if that's where it exists. But I think more likely what you're going to want to do is record because there is actually a feature in Adobe Captivate that really helps with re-recording audio for video demo. And I'll show that to you now. I'm going to reposition my narration audio window so that most of my screen is still visible. And the reason I'm doing that is as I hit record and start to record new audio, the video demo will play back in sync with the new recording. So I can describe very precisely what's happening on my screen and get that new audio recording. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna click on the record icon. And at this point, it's recording some new audio for me. And we should be good to go. We'll see how this works out. And once I'm satisfied with the new recording, I can press the stop icon and we can take a look at this new recording here. So it looks pretty good. Uh, if you're unsure about the volume levels, here's a tip that can really help you out. Switch over to the edit tab, go in and adjust the volume and use the normalize process to make sure that it selects the best volume possible. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. You'll see it bumped up that, that audio volume for me. And I can now hit save and close. And now I have a new video demo with new audio recorded. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.